underway. Green flag is out. We're underway. Cortano leads him off at turn number two. Kevin Folan hangs on to the outside as he goes double wide down the back straightaway. Barry Shaw and Henry and Robert Mohan battle side by side for third. Billy Bandwood drifts up high. Here comes the Cat Country 16. Down on the inside, the Orange Camaro works his way up into fifth. Sets his sights on the 26 of Rob Mohan trying to work his way up towards the front of the field. Up front, Furtado now sits all alone out front. Foley continues to run the outside. Battle for fourth now as Moulton gets the nose underneath the 26 of Mohan. Rotundo has got a problem in that red and white number one. He starts to slide back on the outside. Kevin Foley in the red number 17 works the outside move, trying to hold on a second. He's got the 85 of Barry Shore to deal with. Moulton tries to make it three wide, heading into the third corner. He backs off very wisely and lets the lets Shaw fall back in line. Working his way through the field very nicely as your defending track champion. The number 21 of Bobby Bencourt as he gets by the 116 as Sylvia Korshin is out for the number 70 of Don Enos who's slow and whose car is stalled off at turn number four. Bringing looking for them off at turn number four. Furtado and Folan bringing him down. The F Troop up front. Green is out. We're back underway. 85 of Barry Shaw did not come up to speed. That allowed the outside groove to get by and pass a few cars on the outside. And that held up your defending champion, the 21 of Bobby Bencourt, as he is mired deep in traffic. Up front, it's a three-car battle for the lead. The five of Tom Furtado continues to try to hold on up front. The 17 of Fulman works the outside. Here comes Moulton, trying to make it three wide, deep in the pack, four wide, down the back straightaway as the 21 of Bencourt runs the outside group. The 59 of Ferro goes around deep in the pack. Get the car refired. The 70 of Don Enos is slow in the back straightaway. Farrell's able to get the car rolling, but we are under caution. Furtado and Fulton again bring him down off the corner, and we're back underway. Double wide down the back straightaway. Fulton and Furtado side by side. Moulton squeezes that orange number 16 to the inside of Fulton as they come off at turn number four. Moulton now up in a second, sets his sights on your leader. Off Tom Furtado. Furtado's been able to lead the first several laps. The 67 of Nancy Sherman high atop the speedway. She's got a problem with that red number 67. Off the fourth corner they come. We've got a change of the leader. Stacy Moulton down low takes over the lead. Furtado tries to hold on, but Barry Shore in the number 85 squeezes his way down low and takes over position number two. Fulton is able to open up the door and let the Furtado drift back in. And for third, he takes a look under the shore as they head off the corner. But cannot get it done. Look at the 21. The blue and white Chevrolet of Bobby Bencourt Jr. Started deep in the pack. Now works his way to the inside of Jody Cirillo. Cirillo gets loose off the corner. But give the eighth, seventh position, sixth position to Bobby Bencourt Jr. Your leaders come off at turn number four. Stacy Moulton sets the pace. Second is Barry Shaw. Third is the five of Fatano. Fourth is the 17 of Bowen. Fifth is a double wide battle between the 28, the white Chevrolet of Billy Bairdwood and the blue and white Camaro for Bobby Bencourt Jr. But look who's coming behind Bencourt with the halfway signal going. Ten down, ten to go. Pete Roder works the inside of Cirillo, gets by. Now he takes a look to the outside of Bencourt, trying to work his way to the front. Pete Roder in the blue number three works the outside lane. Bencourt down low as they battle side by side. For that's the battle for fifth off at turn number four. Caution is out for Belmont in the 47, who is un... Off the fourth corner, they are ready to roll. Our chief starter, Eddie Morin's got the green in his hand, and Moulton gets the jump over Shaw. Furtado's able to try to follow through on the inside as he works the inside. Cirillo pounding on the back bumper of Pete Rota as they headed down into turn one, but he backs off and lets Rota settle in. Up front, the 16 continues to set the pace. Now the 21 of Ben Carr moves up the fourth, looks to the outside of Furtado, trying to work.
work his way to the front with just eight laps remaining. Down the back straightaway, the five of Furtado, the 21 of Betancourt, now the three of Rota as they work three wide. Now Rota settles back in behind. Rota takes a look to the inside, three wide action. Betancourt throws the turbo thrust on, made shuts the door in front of Rota, and Furtado into third. Trying to close the gap between he and the D85 of Barry Shaw with six laps to go this time. Bye for the 16 of Stacy Moulton. around he's got something wrong with the rear end of that car he slides back out onto the track everybody's able to was just it. bouncing up and down on the speedway as he went around a little bit of steam coming from underneath the hood or maybe the driver's compartment on that number 17 and we'll see if we can get the final six in this time as the clinch green flag has been given to the field Bolton bring him, brings him down slow, down the back straight away. Off the fourth corner they come. Green is back out. Shaw caught sleeping on the restart. That allows Bettencourt to get underneath. Furtado sticks his nose underneath. That slows up the three of Rota as he drops back to six off a of turn two. Three wide action as Sylvia took a look to the inside of Furtado, but he backed off. No room there. Five to go this time by Stacy Moulton and Bobby Bettencourt. will put a show on for the fans. They head down into one and two. Bettencourt looks down low. Moulton down the back straightaway. Up to the wheel. Up to the door. Moulton, though, able to shut the door in front of Bettencourt. Bettencourt glued to the back bumper. Takes another look down low as they run side by side for the lead. Down into one and two. They pulled away six car links over Shaw as the five of Furtado tries to hold on off in turn two. 37 working the back bumper of Furtado. Now he backs off. Off the fourth corner, we've got a brand new leader for the our third leader of the night. Now it's Bobby Bancourt Jr. who sets the pace. The 16 of Stacey Moulton sits second on the field. Down the back straight where they go. Watch the 37 of Cirillo dive underneath. Fatato contact is made. Cirillo goes around. Rota goes around. The 12 of Langlois is involved as well. And we're just two laps to go. We're back under caution. Green flag is out. And Benko gets a little bit of a jump over Milton. Bettencourt takes a lead down the back straightaway. Moulton tries to gather it back in on the outside. This time by, there'll be two to go as they get three wide down the back straightaway. Paul Neely backs off just a little bit. Battle for a second heating up as the 85 of Barry Shaw now gets underneath the 16 of Moulton down the back straightaway. That's the battle for a second. White flag is high in the air. One more circuit around. Bobby Bettencourt Jr. trying to become... Trying to sit in victory lane for the second time uh, for his season as he leads him down into one and two. Shaw continues to hound the inside of Stacy Moulton. Down the back straightaway for the final time. Checkered flag is high in the air. And Bobby Pettencourt Jr. will take down the win. Moulton will hold on for a second with the 85 of Shaw, the 116 of Sylvia, and the 72 of Al Clements, the third, rounding out the top five. A great race indeed for between Betancourt and Moulton for the final few laps. And we told you it was going to be a race to the finish, and it was. Bobby Betancourt, one more time, will sit in victory lane and add to his collection of trophies at home, taking down win number two. Last week I kind of squirted Pete Roeder and Glenn Young and everybody that wins and this is what it takes, getting squirted every week, soak me down. It's going to be cold <laughs> in August and September, but I got to wear thermals. Defending the track championship, you got to be probably, if not the fastest car out there right now, how come? Well, we've got a consistent car, i got a great crew, all these guys, they make the difference. You know, I drive the wheels off and I try my best. These guys make the difference, they work hard for me and I can't get there without them, every one of them. Thank you, sponsor. 
Manchester Racing Engine's a great motor. WS Shepherd Company, Williston's Auto Electric, TL Holland Real Estate, San Francisco Auto Parts. Apollo Radiator, how about that? You get some pressure from Jerry Diggis Barry. Yeah. Jerry was great racing with him. Matter of fact, he took my car out the other day for warm ups a little bit and helps me out a lot. All right. Defending track champion trying to win another track championship. Bobby will be back. Okay, you have your new trophy, girl. Oh, my old man. <laughs> you're a sexy guy, you. Oh, you're the trophy girl. How about Smile, Bob. Come on, smile. And a boy, big Bob. Just either one of them a big. I'm like you, Gary. Why don't you want to give a long car? Don't worry. Okay. <laughs> You have to see that. Get up, come on, come on, boys. 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 Come on, buddy. I'll be over the line. I'll be over the line. Hey, Joey, hold on. Bobby. Vic, you're on the wrong side, but you're on the pitcher side tonight. I was watching, yeah. You're on the pitcher side tonight, right over there? I was watching, yeah. Nice going. Great, Bobby. And it was Bobby Bencourt. One more time, we'll sit in victory lane and add to his collection of trophies at home, taking down the win number two.